One of the major challenges many content creators face today, especially those involved in storytelling or animation, is achieving consistent character imagery across multiple scenes. This becomes even more difficult when relying solely on free tools, as most AI platforms capable of generating consistent characters are often locked behind paywalls. As beginners, we may not have the luxury of investing in paid tools right away due to limited budgets. That's why in today's session, I'll be guiding you step by step on how to create consistent character images using completely free resources, making this tutorial especially useful for storytellers and faceless YouTube channel owners in need of custom avatars. If that sounds like you, you're in the right place. Before we dive in, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. If this video brings you value, please like and drop a comment below. It's one simple way to say thank you for this content. Now let's get started. The process of creating consistent characters might seem intimidating at first, but it's much easier than you think, especially when paired with the power of ChatGPT. Although we won't be generating images directly with ChatGPT, we will use it to craft detailed character prompts. These prompts are crucial for guiding the AI image generation tool you'll be using. The great news is that whether you're using the free or paid version of ChatGPT, it will still deliver high quality results for prompt generation. To demonstrate, I started by entering this request into ChatGPT. I need you to generate a beautiful European lady in Pixar 3D style. I need you to describe her as a character and not the environment. Focus on her looks, curly hair, corporate wear, and exaggerated features. This initial prompt focuses entirely on the visual attributes and personality of the character, not the setting. As expected, ChatGPT generated a very detailed and rich description of the character. However, the output was quite lengthy too long to plug directly into an image generator without risk of errors or inconsistencies. So, I refined the request by saying, make the prompt shorter, and ChatGPT went ahead to shorten the prompts just as you can see on the screen. Also, I went ahead to ask ChatGPT to re-describe the prompt by changing the outfit to a yellow blazer. She should be wearing it. With that change, ChatGPT gave me a much more focused prompt, with the character now styled in a yellow blazer perfect for our use case. Next, I told ChatGPT, I will be pasting some prompts here. All I need you to do is describe what Ruth, the character, is doing. Do not describe Ruth herself. Only describe her actions, environment, poses, and expressions. Is this clear? ChatGPT confirmed that it understood and was ready for input. I then pasted the following list of prompts. Generate Ruth walking on the street towards the camera. 1. Generate Ruth seated behind a desk in her office, with a laptop, a cup of tea, a pen, and an open notebook. 2. Generate Ruth standing in the sitting room. 3. Generate Ruth walking in Egypt, close to the pyramids. 4. Generate Ruth in the office, side view. 5. Add three more prompts of Ruth doing one thing or another. And ChatGPT generates seven prompt for me. This prompt focuses on Ruth's actions rather than her looks and features. With the description we have for Ruth, which we got from ChatGPT, we can generate the consistent character of Ruth. So with this being said, we shall be using Whisk AI tool for our image generation. I want you to follow me carefully so you can understand this process perfectly well. So the first thing we are going to do is to copy the first prompt for Ruth's description and go over to my Google Doc. Paste the prompt over here, and then start editing. It is simple. Simply type Ruth's name first, followed by a, an open bracket, and after the open bracket is Ruth's description, and then you close the bracket. We will now go over to whisk.ai tool to paste in this prompt, which is going to remain there until we are done generating our images. Next, we head over to ChatGPT to copy the first prompt. From the seven prompts, ChatGPT gave us talking about Ruth's actions. After copying the prompt, we head over to Whisk AI tool and paste it in here, click the generate button, and in few seconds, you will see that the first image is generated. Let's be frank, even ChatGPT cannot generate this kind of image. I seriously do not know what is wrong with their 4.0 model. The image generation is just something else. 
Looking at this image generated by Whisk AI tool from Google, you will agree with me that the image is top notch. So next, let's generate the second image using the prompt too. I copied the description where Ruth is seated in her office with a laptop, a cup of tea, and an open notebook. After pasting it into Whisk below the character prompt, I hit enter. The result? A perfectly composed office image with all the described elements present and Ruth looking exactly as she should. Prompt 3. Ruth standing in a living room. Once again, with the character prompt in place, I only needed to paste the action prompt. Whisk rendered the scene beautifully. Prompt 4. Ruth walking near the pyramids in Egypt. This one was especially impressive. The desert background and iconic pyramid imagery were spot on. Prompt 5. A side view of Ruth in the office. As expected, the image matched the tone, lighting, and pose described. Prompt 6 and 7. We continued with Ruth doing other activities, and Whisk consistently delivered images that preserved her appearance while changing the scenes dynamically. So, what's the key takeaway here? If you have a fixed character prompt, for example, Ruth's appearance, and you consistently append new scenario-based prompts without changing the character description, tools like Whisk can render scene after scene with perfect continuity. In my upcoming YouTube course, I'll be showing you how to take this even further, such as generating two or more characters in the same scene using prompt engineering strategies. I'll also dive into animating these still images so that your characters can walk, talk, and perform specific actions. And yes, while there are paid tools that deliver even faster and more refined results, I will be highlighting the best free and budget-friendly tools you can use to achieve professional quality results without the financial pressure. So, if you're excited to learn how to create, animate, and monetize your own consistent character content for YouTube, stay tuned. The course will cover everything from animation, SEO, and automation to the exact mistakes I made and how you can avoid them. Best of all, it's designed to be affordable and beginner-friendly. I'll be sure to notify you when the course goes live. In the meantime, if this walkthrough has helped clarify the process of creating consistent character images using ChatGPT and Whisk AI, drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Let's keep creating together.